So here we are, and I was replacing that door yesterday, and I came into the problem where the door is a little bit too tight. Well, I had my son put it door up, and then I found out it's a bit too tight. So we have to take out a little bit, at least an eighth of an inch, off of the area up here. So that's where the plane is going to come in. Um, I, could, I could use a saw, but you're gonna get a better finish if you use a planer. So what I'm gonna do is just give it a little mark right here to where I know that I wanna cut it out from. So, it's, I, so I know it's about an eighth of an inch at the bottom also. Right here. So I'm basically gonna remove the door, take it to the garage. Um, I already have the planer I got from, from, from Harbor Freight. Um, and I pay like twenty four dollars for it. Normally, I, I for my home tools, I just run to have a freight and just buy cheap tools. Thirty four dollars, you cannot really go wrong with thirty with thirty four dollars on a on a on a planer. Um, so we're gonna take out the door and take it over there. And this is the the drill master that I just pick up from Harbor Freight. Um, it's a three and a quarter inch electric planer. Electric planer, 120 volts, so it's gonna plug right in. And it's a 5.5 amp motor on there. It runs at 16,000 RPM. And it's a planer. And what it does is just, you can use it to plane, to plane your wood. Um, even though you're not a, a professional, a professional, and you can see right here, it shows you because that's one problem that you're going to encounter is that the edge of the door you need to cut off some of the edge of the door or plane out some of the edge of the door so this is going to come in pretty 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 handy and like I said this is pretty cheap $34 I think it was I think it's $34 yeah $34 it was on sale pretty nice so to see and you have a security button right here. Something pretty good. And you can basically here's my so normally let me see I have this board right here. I'm gonna put a little map on it. So you can see I put a little map here to give me like about a let's say roughly eighth of an inch. So this is definitely what, what I want. So you can see I cut off the pencil mat. So this is looking really good. So we're gonna go ahead and remove the door. First, I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take out the, the lock on there. Okay. Um, so we're gonna be plating on the side. So we're gonna remove any metal to that. So normally I could, you could just knock this out on the hinges. Just knock out the pins and take it out. But this the hinges have been there for so long, probably since the house was built over 20 something years ago. So it's been painted over, so it's really hard on there. So I'm just gonna take out the screws on there. And there's six screws. That's it. So we're gonna take this, bring it to the garage, and then we are ready to do take about an eighth of an inch. So you can mark it with a ruler, but I'm just gonna use my finger like the, in the old days. You just use your finger to just as a guide. You know, and just keep it against the pencil, and that's how you get. From this side, I can have a better view of my door. Now, I'm gonna use covers. Your protection and let's do a test. Perfect. 
So now Okay, so close the door, and this is what we're looking for. So we know we have closure. Metal perfect, and I'll have to dig into the wood, into the door, a little more to get it back inside where it belonged. That dough. So I have my chisel, my wood chisel, and they sell. They, they do sell tools that you can use. To do that for you, you can just pong it in, and it does all that good stuff for you. And you want to go in just the thickness of the edge of the of the metal of the locking mechanism so that it's flush with the okay remember your your lock goes on the other side so it's really troublesome putting put in the the door lock on there so normally I need that a little loose I push it in and I get the screws in there and then if you want to use your a hand a manual screw screwdriver you use that but then after I get it in I kind of pull it out because if it's all the way in there it's kind of hard to put your your screw gun in there so I can pull it out a bit so I can get a better angle and you want to do both sides equally and go from there there you go you don't want to do it too much so that you walk out your screw we have this there and now you want to get this one back inside before you tighten in, before you tighten this, you want to screw it back in. And make sure it's flat to the surface of the door. You can get this back in. Move it around to make sure that it's not sticking and it's working properly you don't want it to tight it's perfect Your lock good to go Works. we have a nice little edge there enough room less than an eighth of an inch in there in case during and we're done this is charlie i'm out